This is the plaintiff, Sharon Gervin. She says she's been a professional dog breeder for 50 years, and the defendant entered into a deal where she was going to use a dog she provided as a stud, and in turn was going to receive a pick of the puppy litter. As it turns out, the defendant's a huge liar. She never got her puppy, and she's here in the good name of justice suing her for the $5,000 she's owed. This is the defendant, Robin DiPercio. She says she's been a groomer for 37 years, and she also shows dogs. They did enter into an agreement where she would get a puppy from her next litter, but the puppies all unfortunately died. How can she provide a puppy when there was none? She can't. That's why the plaintiff's gonna lose this lawsuit today. She's accused of pooping out on a puppy deal. All parties, please use your right hands. You see it, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Sharon Gervin? Yes, ma'am. You are suing Robin DiPercio for $5,000, the cost of a puppy that you believe she owes you and is um, lying about whether it lived. Let's backtrack here. Can you tell me how you two met? We met at a dog show. OK. How long ago was that? Uh, about a year and a half, maybe. OK. At some point, you folks become friends? Yes, ma'am. And you decide to go into business together breeding a dog? Yes. All right. Tell me about that. According well, to you, what was the agreement? Well, according to the agreement was that I give her the female dog, and she was to breed it to a stud of my choice at her expense. She takes care of the mother, the puppies, gives me one puppy back in return. OK, but you're giving her the female dog forever? Yes. Once I get my puppy back, I give her the female dog forever. OK. And you get the... I get one puppy back. One puppy. Pick of the litter pick or... Pick of the puppy. Yes, pick okay. of the litter. OK. And then what? And then once I get my puppy, I sign over the mother to her and any remaining puppies. OK. All right. And uh, was any of that in writing? No. Have you ever done a deal like this before? Yes. Are I, they I usually in writing? Time. Yes, I do. Why wasn't this one in writing? Because she was close by, and I was mentoring her. She's never done a multi. Well, she did a Maltese. Well, that's all the more reason to have it in writing. You're giving me, like, the worst reasons to not have it in writing. I understand. Uh, well, we were friends. Well, that's right. You don't want a misunderstanding with a friend. But I was going to be seeing her on a regular basis. So as what? What does that have to do with getting it in writing? Look at us now. All right, so in any event, what ends up happening? You give her a female dog. I gave her the female dog, and she was to breed it to... Um, what, can you give me the name of the dog? The, the first one was Dream. <clears throat> Dream, okay. Yes. And I gave her that. And then um, I let her use a male, Fabian. And so did Dream get pregnant? No. All right. No. So then what happened? So then I gave her a second female to try. Okay. And in the meantime, what? Dream, you take Dream back or no, Dream stays no. with her? Dream still stayed there because we were going to try her another time. She okay. missed that season. Okay. So we were going to try another time because okay. things happen. And so I gave her a second one so we can get things going. And um, again, she tried to breed her to Fabian. And the second one was named? Kiss. Okay. She tried to breed her to Fabian and? And again, that one didn't take either. Okay. So then... Robin and I decided that we were going to get another male. Okay. So we we found this little boy and we were going to go partners. Little on boy him. being a dog. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. A little boy. Okay. A little boy dog, and we were going to go partners on. These him. dogs are what? Maltese. Maltese. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And uh, so we were going to go partners on him. Meaning what? Uh, well, we were going to split the cost. The, of the, the price, dog or of the stud fee? The the price of the dog. We were going You're to going purchase. You're going to buy the dog. We were going to buy How him. much were you paying for the dog? $3,000. $3,000? Yes. OK. And Robin was supposed to pay $600. All right. Did you pay anything on that dog? I ended up paying $2,300. So you have the dog? Yes. And then what did you do with the dog? I, I now own him. OK. Did that dog ever get brought over there to try to stud or? Yes. Kiss ended up getting pregnant. And it was... With who? Uh, this dog? The, the $2,900 dog? OK, yes, go ahead. And she ended up getting sick um, around the 13th of October. And 
I was on the phone with Robin. She says she's not eating, she's not drinking. And again, this is all phone conversations. And I said, well, I'm not there. I don't know what's going on. How far said, are you from each other? About an hour and a half. Okay. And um, I said, take her to a vet. I can't see what's going on. You know, she says, well, she's going to try feeding her. So she said that she was going to make her some chicken and rice later on that night and see. Later on, she called me. Oh, yeah, she's doing better. Next morning, I get a text from Robin. The dog is in labor eight days early. Um, nothing I can do. I mean, she told me two of the puppies died. Um, Kiss was really sick. And she told me Kiss was sick. Robin, take her to the vet. Okay. Robin, you take her to the vet. I didn't stay. I went, but I didn't stay. Why didn't you stay? I did not stay because the vet was going into, it was an emergency vet clinic. The vet was going into surgery with another dog. And I didn't want to keep her in that atmosphere of sick dogs. I wanted to take her back home and come back later that night. They said they would call me when he, when he was out of surgery and it was going to go take back? three to four hours. And I said, well, if I wait three or four hours, I might as well just wait until the morning and I'll take her to my vet in the morning. I took her to my vet the very next morning. I was there by eight o'clock. And what happens? I take her in and she said, yes, yeah, she's sick. I said, she may still have another pup in there, but I'm not Because positive. this was after she had delivered a few pups. She had delivered five at and this point. how many days after she had delivered five? This was just the very next morning. So what happened? My vet does the blood work. Um, she says she looks like she might be, um, I'm trying to remember the exact word. I don't need the word, but that there's she a, was still a pup inside. There was inside a problem. To, there was a pup. She did an x-ray. There was a pup inside. She was getting toxic. So she took her in. She had to have an emergency space. She said, I can't. The problem is when they die inside, they don't produce enough est or, uh, progesterone to deliver a dead puppy. That's the problem. So okay, so what did the doctor do? She had to spay because she was toxic. The, well, the how mother, does spaying help the toxic? Because it removes the uterus, which is already toxic. Oh. Now, at the point where Kiss goes in and gets the surgery, what? how many puppies are left? Three. Okay, and what happens? One died the next morning. Ten days later, another one died, and three weeks after that, another one died, and the last one passed away. I put him in bed. He was fine. What I, day? This was December 8th. What was the day of Kiss's surgery? Kiss's surgery was no, um, October 16th. At some point, you demand to have Kiss back. No, I did not. Did you get Kiss back? I did get okay. Kiss back. Um, how, did, how did you get Kiss back? She sends me a text. She says, are you going to be home? You're going to work. And I said, work. Why? She says, I'm bringing back Kiss, Dream, and Fabian. OK. Fine. So um, it was just before Thanksgiving. And of course, now it's like, OK, what time are you bringing him? No answer, no answer. After several hours, she says, well, I'm going away. She says, um, it's out of my way. I'll bring him back in three weeks. No, I, I know her. I know what she does. So now she tells you it'll be weeks, and then you say no, and you get animal control involved? So I sent animal control um, the 23rd of December and to tell Robin that I want my puppy. And Robin Well, you want the pup? What happened with the other dogs? Well, they, I got them back. What day did you get them back? I think it was the 25th of November. Of November. All right. Yes. And were you expecting the puppy as yes. well? Yes. I, I had asked her to bring the puppy. She says, no, I'm not bringing the so puppy. So on the 23rd of December, you go to animal control. Right. And then animal control does what? She talked to Robin and said that you really need to give the puppy to Sharon um, because the puppy's rightfully hers. And Robin told her, she says, I'm not giving her that puppy. She okay. owes me money. Do you money. have a report from animal control? No, but she, she said she can testify. She couldn't put it in writing because it wasn't a complaint. It's a civil matter. But she said that she would be Did happy animal to control talk come to your house on the 23rd? They came to my house. I was out of state. I was and what up happened in Boston. On the Did um, they talk to you on the phone? They called me on the phone. 
And she said that, um, she says, Sharon can make a civil case of this. And I said, yes, I know she can. I said, but it's kind of hard to give her something that I don't have. So plain and simple. According to you, on, on the 8th, yes. the dog had died. Yes. So I would expect that animal control person to be able to testify that you said the dog is tell, dead. I did not tell her the dog was dead. I said, why do I have to give her the dog back? That's what I said to her. I did not tell animal control the dog was dead. That was my, that was a mistake. Uh, a second ago, you said that what you told animal control was I cannot give what I do not have. Then exactly. the second that I tell you that I'm gonna contact animal control, because I, the normal thing, if the dog really did die December 8th, is that you would tell animal control, listen, that dog didn't make it. That's the normal thing for you to say. It would have been so, the normal thing, and I should have said that. No, the only reason not to have said it is that the dog didn't die. It did die. Yeah, I don't no, have the dog. Prove it. I don't have the dog. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. Uh, what's better? Uh, I haven't asked the question yet. Do you mind? I'm working here. Okay. What is better, a rescue dog or a purebred as a pet? Rescue dog. You say why? I just feel that way. That's how I feel. Okay, I got an answer for that. What do you say? <laughs> I'd say rescue for sure. They, they, they know when they've been saved, I'd say they love you just that much more. Um, that's just what I was going to say. One more quickie. I think rescue dogs are better because they need a home. And of course, purebred dogs need a home. But rescue dogs, in my experience, because I have two of them. Mm, are, me too. Yes. Me too. Going inside the guardroom. Prove that the dog died. How do I prove the dog died? Well, when you I don't could have taken have the it. dog to a vet. You could have a witness. You could have a picture. Um, what else could you? You could have texted her on the eighth and said the puppy died before she gets animal control involved. Well, uh, what many countless other ways you could have told the animal control officer, "I cannot give what I do not have," like you said a second ago. You said, I said and then that. retracted. Yeah. Though all those ways are ways you can prove that you're not a liar when you're in court telling me, "No dog for you, lady." That's how you can prove it. But I don't have a dog to give to her. Oh, I I'm sure you don't dog. have a dog to give to her. I did not. I am sure you don't. I'm just pretty, just as sure that dog didn't die December 8th. The dog because died. that would have been what you would have said. All right. Now, what proof do you have that this puppy would have been worth $5,000? I sold it. Well, when is it that you sell the puppy? I sold it. Well, I have the contract. Why are you selling a puppy you don't even have in your possession where the person who has the puppy in your possession won't give you the puppy? Like, how is it that you really sold it? Did your because lawyer tell I, you I what really you should do is sell it? she was going to give it to me. Pardon me? I really believe she was going to give it to oh, me. You are just a person of great faith. I know. All right, so what day did you sell the puppy? And is it a date after December 23rd? Yes. Yeah, see, that concerns me because I've been doing this a long, long time. So it's a date after December 23rd, and it's a date after you went to see your lawyer, right? It was January 5th. Yeah, when your lawyer tells you you need some proof of what the dog would be worth, because that's what you're going to need in court. Next thing you know, you're selling a dog that on December uh, 23rd, somebody's saying, I'm not going to give you. Why should I see that to be a legitimate estimate of the dog's value when I know from three minutes ago that uh, another Maltese was being purchased for three grand, which is virtually half that. Right, but this one, because Special. of that loss. I'm finding no. in favor of the plaintiff on her claim against you in the amount of $2,500. That's my verdict. So the plaintiff ends up getting half of what she was seeking. Ms. Dispersio, the defendant's just come out. You know, the judge tried, she just, didn't believe. She thinks the, do the dog did not die. Yeah, she thinks that, but but that's not the case. And and, and that's your yet to your problem, which you couldn't prove it that the dog I did die. I should have. Uh, there was things I should have done, and I didn't do a it. A lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. I should have had a contract. No to begin kidding. With. Everybody agrees with that. Absolutely. Yeah. There should have been. And I uh, believe me, I learned my lesson. It will not happen ever again. There was, will be a contract from now on. I was just going to ask you: Will you ever do a contract with her again? I will not. You will not. No. That's over. That's over. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, sorry about your loss there. You. All right, now here comes the plaintiff, Ms. Griffin. Yes. You're getting half of what you were seeking back. Yes. You can't get everything. No. You're okay with that. I'm okay. All right? 
It wasn't about the money. It was about the exposure of what she's done. Yeah, okay, all right. You learn anything from all of this? Yes. <laughs> I hate I'll to ask you. I'll get a contract. <laughs> Good for you, okay, <laughs> thank you. Both of you learned, all right, yes, thank, thank you so you. much. Oh, the importance of a contract, it's key, right Harvey? Okay, short and sweet, Doug, these deals should be in writing very specifically who gets what.